Who is that nasty man? And yeah, I thought you knew every man at this barbecue. Red Butler from Charleston. We have the incredible honor of having one of the most epic novels live on our stage right here in Winnipeg. And the man that brought it to us is Stephen Shipper. And Stephen, I can't fathom the depth and like I guess the real guts and courage to bring something like Gone with the Wind to stage. That's very kind of you to say, Tracy. When we gathered as a company on the first day, I made mention that Margaret Mitchell says her story is primarily about survival, but especially about gumption. And anybody here who doesn't know what gumption is, <laughs> if you're here voluntarily, you have gumption. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. Okay, so Nikki Landau, she is a playwright. What kind of vision did she have for the book? She struggled with how to turn a 1,000-page novel into a just under three-hour play. And eventually she came to realize that the one story that could be told throughout is Scarlet's Journey. Mm -hmm. And it is indeed an incredible story and one that has inspired people from all over the world. When Nikki was working on it, she would have her novel in front of her wherever she went for coffee. And people of all walks of life who spoke many different languages would come up to her and say, you know, Gone with the Wind, you know what that meant to me? And mm -hmm. proceed to tell them about how it gave them strength and they mm -hmm. survived whatever challenges they faced. Okay, so that's the book. Now it's the play with real people in front of you, seeing Scarlet, seeing Rhett. How did you land Bethany and Tom? Tom McCamus plays Rhett and Bethany Gillard plays Scarlet. And from heaven, Tracy, <laughs> from heaven they landed. And I couldn't be more grateful. All of our audiences, I'm sure, will enjoy their performances. As a director, how challenging, besides the number, besides the, the massive production, how challenging was this? It did. <laughs> tax all of our resources. I have the benefit of working with two great mm -hmm. directors, Rob Patterson and Heidi Malazdrowitz mm -hmm. are working on this show as well and we have a great team of stage managers, designers, and of course our cast are just extraordinary. I think even though the sets and the costumes are indeed spectacular, mm -hmm. the company is what shines. The company of actors carries the day. Do you think you'll be constantly picking at it as you watch it every night and making changes? And I, I hope so. One of the special pleasures that I've had working on this play is that it's brand new, that it's a world premiere. And yes, there are some anxieties that come along with that. But on the other hand, we can indeed keep making changes, as you suggest, to enhance it, to improve it. It's like polishing a diamond. So this has never actually been done in North America, correct? This version has never been done anywhere. And our hope is that once it is successfully launched here, that Nikki Landau's adaptation of Gone with the Wind will play to audiences all around the world. So, Stephen, in all your big breadth of work, do you figure that Gone with the Wind, this production, is probably the gem of your repertoire so far? I couldn't say. I don't know. But really, the thing that comes to mind is my wife, Terry, and our children. Nathaniel and Susan, those are the gems of my life. Well, most definitely. It certainly shows in your work. You have a, a well sense of respect, and I think everybody on stage truly enjoys and truly believes in the characters that they play. Thank you so very much, Tracy. It's always a pleasure to speak with you. Stephen Shipper, the one and only artistic director for the Royal Manitoba Theatre Centre, and wow, he is a gem himself. For Backstage, I'm Tracy Koga.